What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey man, check it out. I got the Fesley FED 1200W versus the Simmons Titan 70 right here in the studio. So right here, right now, on this channel, it's about to go down. You ready? Here we go. All right, man, you know how we do it. This is the verses that I couldn't wait to do uh, with these two drum sets. Why? Because I think that these two drum sets are really evenly matched. And yeah, it's about to, it's, it's, we got to see what's what. So as you guys know, this is the point system. We're going to give them points and see where they stand at the very end. Now, I will tell you, I did throw something as a bonus at the very end, but it'll make sense why I did that as you start to listen. So I'm going to play a little bit and you'll hear a little bit of each drum. You got it? But let's start. Starting with the very first thing you notice when you take it out of the box. When you pull both of these drum sets out of the box, after you get everything unloaded, you're going to pay close attention to the rack. So let's start with the rack. When it comes to the rack system, it is very, very obvious which one is the better rack. Now, a lot of you guys know that I have no issues with the Titan rack at all. But the way they did, Fesley did this rack, This I got to give the point flat out to Fesley. This rack is... It's sturdy. It is. It's. It's. It stands the shake. Uh, the shake test. You don't. You know. You don't feel like it's gonna fall over. Like some of you guys say about the Titan, which I keep telling y'all, it ain't going nowhere. It's got a little wobble to it, but it ain't going nowhere unless you kick it. But this, the Fesley, definitely takes the point when it comes to the rack. So point number one, right off the rip, goes right to the Fesley. All right. Now I know I said the rack was the first thing you notice, but really, it's the kick drum. Man, oh man, when it comes to the kick drum, you know, you know, y'all know I like the Titan, you know, the Titan, you can put a double bass on it, but the Fesley is a monster. It's a beast, it's a big boy. And yes, you can put a double bass on it. And um, it's, a piece of, it's a piece of work. I gotta give the point right quick, right now, straight on over to the Fesley. The Fesley, man, that kick drum is massive. It's solid. It feels great. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about the Fesley when it comes to the kick drum. All right, now we're going to get to where it gets a little weird here. We're going to talk about the toms. Now, when you get the Fesley, you'll notice that you get all the same size tom, just like you get all the same size tom on the Titan. But the difference is, Whereas the Titan gives you eights, the Fesley gives you tens. You get three tens. But the Simmons Titan 70 comes with four eights. So you get one extra one. And yeah, one, but, and they're double, they're, they're dual zone. Now, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. They're both dual zone, but they do things a little bit different. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna split this saying up and I'm gonna give you my point system on this to let you explain. I'm gonna give the Toms win straight to Fesley, off the rip, all right? I'm gonna give him a point, all right? But now I'm gonna talk about another section of the time where it's hard for me to give a point. And that is, they're both dual zone, but Simmons chooses to do the dual zone where when you hit the rim, you get an actual different sound, whereas Fesley chooses to make the side, the, the rim sound, sound like you hit the side or rim of an actual time. And that is, I, I'm gonna leave this in the air because I think the camp is gonna be a little bit split. Some people are gonna want those extra sounds because it means that they don't have to buy any buy extra things, right? But on the Fesley, some people are gonna like the fact that it does feel more like a, an acoustic set because it gives you the acoustic sounds. I'm gonna go and I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split the camp on this. I'm gonna give them both a point on this. All right, I'm not gonna do a half. I'm gonna give them both a point because I think both of these are good ways to go with this. So that's one point for Simmons, one point for Fesley because I cannot make up my mind which is better. I have an idea what I think should be a compromise, but I'm about to say that for another video. So when it comes to the times, the dual zone sections, I'm gonna give the win to both of them. They both get a point. All right, let's talk about the symbols. Now, when you talk about the crash symbols on both of these, uh, I'm gonna even though the the Fesleys are a bit bigger, they all have the the, the uh, dual zone so that you can choke on the Fesley. You can do the same thing on the uh, Titan 70, but 
when it comes to the symbols, because they're both those like Pac-Man or Half Moon uh, type of symbols, I really don't like either of them that way. So it's hard for me to give them a solid point on, on, on the symbols when it comes to the crashes. When it comes to the ride though, that's where everything changes. Yes, you get a nice size ride and it's also almost completely 360 on there. It's a big chunk of it, probably about 75, 80%, maybe even close to 90% full on the Titan. But it's a 360, 13 inch on the uh, Fesley, which means you can hit it anywhere and it's gonna make a sound. So the point goes to Fesley. Yes, Fesley has the better symbol when it comes to that. You get more space and if you wanna, you know, you know, you know, hit anywhere on there, it's going to work. Whereas you kind of got a little bit of a different uh, feel on, on the other, on the Simmons. So yeah, when it comes to the symbols, I'm gonna give the point on over to the Fesley. The Fesley takes the point. Okay, the snare, the snare. Now, I used to, I used to really like root for the Simmons snare, and I, I, because I, it's a tennis snare, they did a good job giving you a tennis snare, and it's dual zone. I'm gonna come back to that, but the 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 Fesley is a 12 inch snare. Now they went on ahead and made it a deep, you know, three inch uh, uh, a snare as well, uh, but. That three, that extra three inches doesn't necessarily give it anything or any benefit for being that much thick. So I'm not gonna give it a win based on the thickness. I'm gonna give it a win based on the width of the snare. Why? Because in my opinion, the bigger the snare, the better. Now, I usually pay piccolos, and I think my piccolos are like 12 and 13s, but yeah, but but still, this that that 12 inch snare, yeah, feels great. And the snare stand. The fact that it's on a free floating stand that you can move around and get where you want. Now I have no issues with Simmons with that. So it's hard for me to, it's not necessarily better because of that, because I'm gonna come back to something else about that later. But it's not necessarily better on the Simmons or better on the Fesley because of the stand. It's better because of the size and I can move it around, but I can also adjust both. So I'm not gonna take a point away, but I'm gonna give a point over here. Now, additional situation when it comes to the snare. I have a little bit of an issue when it comes to the Fesley snare for a couple of reasons. Um, I started to notice uh, very, very quickly, first of all, the machine gun effect on the uh, Fesley is it's there all day long. No matter what you do, you get the exact same sound. Even when I tried to do buzz rolls, they did not pick up as buzz rolls. When it comes to that same feature on the Simmons, it works and it's not, uh, the machine gun effect is not like, like it is over here. It's actually less, almost non-existent over here. And it picked up the buzz roll. In addition to that, the Fesley gives you that side stick sound, which I like, but it doesn't give you a true rim shot sound. Whereas the Simmons gives you a rim shot sound. So when I when I look at it like that and I start to really start to judge these two snares, whereas I will give them a size point, I got to give the realness, the accuracy, the playability of the snare on the Simmons a, a full point because it's not like that over here. And that's very disappointing on the uh, Fesley. That disappointed me tremendously. I, I was really disappointed that that was the case. Okay. I know, I know, I said the first thing you noticed was the rack, and the first thing you noticed, the other first thing you noticed was that kick drum. But the real first thing you notice when it comes to the Fesley is the hi-hat. Whoo, I love the hi-hat on the Fesley, and I hate the hi-hat on the Fesley. Now, let me talk about the hi-hat on the um, Simmons, just to get so I'm, so I'm fair. I don't really care for this, especially once you play on one that looks like an actual acoustic setup. But the thing is, I would rather have the full setup 
because I can move it around, it's much more maneuverable, and it makes it feel more like an acoustic set, which all electric sets are trying to be. So I gotta give the point to the Fesley. The Fesley takes the point. Now, I will say some negative things about this. Um, you probably noticed on, uh, uh, in the video here that sometimes uh, the triggering will uh, triple, tr you'll hit once and it'll play twice. And I, I could not stop that. I played with sensitivity. I played with the triggering. I played with everything to try to get that to stop. Really just could not get that to stop. And at a certain point when I turned it down to get it to work, it actually stopped playing. So I had to turn it back up and then that, that came back across. So I don't know if it's just a defect in the uh, module itself, meaning software wise, some type of defect, some type of bug. Maybe there's a firmware fix that I can go get and that'll clear that up. But I haven't, I haven't been able to do that just yet. So I don't know that that's a fix, but I do know I like that hi-hat. Now, when it comes to, I'm gonna say something negative about the Simmons on the hi-hat. When it comes to the Simmons, it seems like fresh out the box, the hi-hat is low. You have to go into the app or you have to go into the module to turn the hi-hat volume up, okay? And that is something that, um, it seems like it goes back down when you turn it off and turn it back on. I don't like that. If I set it, I want it set. I want it to stay where I left it and I don't wanna to have to think about it every time I come back to play. But now, let's go back over here. When it comes to the Fesley, one thing that I've started to notice too was that the stump hi-hat sound and the open hi-hat sound, like when you make a switch, you make it breathe like that, is the same sound. So it, it, it effectively has a closed hi-hat sound, it has a, which is the stick, the sticking, it has a open closed hi-hat sound without the sticking, which is the stump, and it sounds like a stump, and it has the, the, the hi-hat sound of when you open it and hit it and it slides. The only thing that I, even though they gave it three sounds, the, some of the sounds, are, it, it seems like, like it could have been done a little bit differently. I'm still giving a point to them, but it seems like it could have been done just a little bit differently to make it, you went, they went so far to make it feel real, it should have made it real. You know what I mean? Really work real. Let's talk about the modules. Now, both of these modules have those little bitty small screens. And if you've seen some of my pre previous videos, <coughs> especially when it came down to the uh, uh, SD 1250, I really dogged out that little bitty screen. Um, it just feels like we should upgrade. Now, in this price range, it seems like this is the, the screen size we're gonna get. Um, you got the color screen on the Fesley. You got the monochrome black and white on the um, Titan. But here's the thing, when I start to compare the two modules themselves and what they offer, I have to give the point to Simmons on the modules. I think the module of the Simmons is a better module. I think it seems a little bit more up to date um, and it offers more, okay? Just seems to offer more, all right? I'm gonna come back to why, but the Simmons module is definitely the better module. And let's not forget the phone case holder so that you can hold your iPad or your phone up there to control the module and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the point goes to seven. This is where we're getting ready to dig in. We're gonna talk about the sounds. And I'm gonna talk about the sounds in two different ways. Now, when it comes to the individual sounds, the Fesley has more sounds than the Simmons, okay? But when it comes to individual drum sets, the Simmons has more drum sets than the Fesley, okay? Now, I'm not awarding a point or taking a point away because of what I'm in that regard. I could give it to, if I was gonna give a point, if I was gonna give a point, which I'm not, I would give it to Simmons for more drum sets. You know what? I take that back. I'm giving Simmons a point for more drum sets. And the reason I'm going to give him a point for that is because when you start to go through the module, I think that it seems as if the, the, the paperwork and the module aren't lining up on the Fesley. The Pop 2 kit sounds like some electric kit, almost like, you know, from, from the 80s, you know, the 70s and 80s electric drums. And it doesn't sound like what it's called, which is a Pop 2 kit. So for that reason, um, it seems like, like, like something's off 
with the module and with the sounds as it relates to playing those drums. And it's only, I think, 25 drum sets versus, I think, 50 or 75 with the Titan, fit, the Titan 70. The reason is, is because you remember, on the Titan 70, all of the drum sounds from the Titan packs are inside of the module for the Titan 70. So it has about 75 different kits. You follow me? Bunch of kits, bunch of options, things like that. Even though this has individual sounds, there's more, it's hard for me to you know, give them a point. So I'm gonna give that point there. Now let's break down one more thing about the sounds. When it comes to the sounds, when it comes to realism of the sounds, I gotta give Simmons the point, okay? Listen, the drum set the Fezzly makes feels good, looks good, and all of that, but the sounds is where it starts to lack, especially when it comes to sound decay. What makes a drum set sound realistic is if you go to an acoustic drum set, especially on the cymbals, and you hit that cymbal, that cymbal is gonna ring and it's gonna fade out. You can even watch it vibrate, you can see. As long as that thing is vibrating, it is making a sound and it's fading out. When it comes to listening to both of these drums, the Fesley drum set has an apparent cutoff point, whereas the Simmons fades out more naturally. And because of that, I have to give them a point on the sound because it's more realistic and that's what you're going for. I don't care anything about any of those electronic sounds. Both the Simmons got the, 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 the Simmons drums that made Simmons famous in the, seven, in, in the 80s and whatnot and 70s. Is in it. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of the stuff that's like that inside the Fesley. I care about the fact that when people want to play drums, they want to play drums. And they want their drum to sound like drums. And when it comes to doing that, Simmons sets the stage between these two and blows it out the water. Whereas there's too much cutoff for me on the Fesley. Let's talk accessories. Now when I say accessories, I'm talking about what's in the box when you pull it out the box. I'm going to tell you up front, without question, the point goes to Fesley. And the number one reason they get that point is this. It is the stick holder and the fact that they give you two pair of sticks and I'm not, I should take a point off for that drum, th that drum throw because that drum throw, you can't sit on that more than four minutes before your bottom go to hurt, you know what I mean? It's gonna get a little sore, especially if you weigh, you know, I'm over 200, that thing ain't hurt. I can't do it, and it's, it's so narrow, it's built, it's, it's built for a little bitty booty, it's built for a kid booty, it ain't built for an adult, you know what I'm saying? I get, that's why I have to pull out my actual drum throne. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, I should take a point away, but I'm not. But, it's the accessories. When you open up the box, everything you need is in it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make that another point for the fact that when you buy the Fesley drum set, even though you may not like that throne, everything you need, headphone, two pair of sticks, drum throne, your pedals, everything's in the box. You do, you do not have to leave and go somewhere and buy anything else to play that drum. You take it out, you set it up, you start playing. I'm gonna give you a point, Fesley, because everything is in the box. All right, on this one, I have a little bit of a dilemma because they both have this feature, and that is Bluetooth audio. They both have the ability you can set them up, you can just go right in with uh, pull, pull, you know, Bluetooth to your phone, listen through the headphones by plugging your headphones into the module, play music from your phone straight to the module, and play along with that, with that music. I tried it out on both of them, it functions exactly as designed. So with that, I think I'm gonna take a point, and I'm gonna split it in half, because they both do it, and it is a cool feature. I think every drum set from here on out should have that feature. So I'm gonna split that point down the middle, give them a half a point right there. Next on the list is Bluetooth MIDI. Boom, I gotta get a point straight to Simmons. Simmons has the Bluetooth MIDI. If you haven't found out, you can connect that to your uh, computer, Bluetooth, and play songs and it'll, it'll jump right to your um, computer. So that 
uh, Fezley does not have that feature, so I gotta give the point to Simmons for that feature. It is a cool feature. It functions and works just fine. So I gotta give them, Simmons, you get the point all day, every day of the week for Bluetooth MIDI. This one probably ain't fair, but this is a drum off, and I got to talk about it. And that is the Simmons app. You, you can't touch the Simmons app. The Simmons app makes you use it. This is why, you know, I, I can really overlook the module because because of the Simmons app, I don't even look at the module. I don't even care about the module. Why? Because you can do everything right from your phone that you can do in there. And it's so much easier to see it sliders and all of that stuff and completely control this drum right from your phone. The Fezley, I looked it up. They do not have that feature. They do not show an app in the app store. I was not able to find it. If it is one and someone can correct me on it, please, please, please leave a comment and let me see it. But I didn't see it. So the point goes to, baby, it goes to Simmons. It goes to Simmons all day. The Simmons app, untouchable. If your drum set doesn't have an app, something's wrong with you. All right, let's go to what I call ease of use. How easy is it to use this drum set versus the other drum set? And I'm gonna go with, this kind of goes back to the app. I don't know if I wanna award a point for it, but it goes back to the app. The app makes the, the, the Simmons a lot easier to use. It just works, it just does. And I'm right now as I'm filming this, I don't know if I'm gonna give it a point, but if you see the brackets pop up, then I gave it a point for ease of use. The feel, what, which one of these drums feels better, feels best? I gotta give the point to the Fesley, and I'm gonna tell you what it is. I had to sit and play with both of them side by side like this to come to this conclusion. It really is the size of the drums and the rack system itself. That rack, make, and with the hi-hat, of course, the rack and the hi-hat and the size of the drums makes the Fesley feel more like my acoustic drum set that I miss playing. When you look at the modules and compare them side by side, the Fesley 1200W does not have any expansion capability. Now I'm gonna go and really explain that when I say it does have the ability to plug one of the symbols in and I think, yeah, no, there, there was, there's no other time, it'll be on screen. I don't wanna turn around and look, but it'll be on screen. It does not have the ability to add an extra time, extra symbols and things like that. The, the, the Simmons comes out of the box with four times, all right? And it still gives you the ability to go and purchase the expansion kit, whether you get the old school SD600 or you get the actual Titan um, setup, and plug it in and add an additional tom and an additional symbol. Now, for that alone, you already see where the point is going. But let before I award this point, let me go to the next level. I'm giving the point, but you can take each one of these toms and you can get a splitter, split them off, and now you have eight toms. But remember I said you can go get another symbol and another tom? You can split that next tom and get two additional toms now. So now you got 10 toms. I don't know where you're gonna put them, but you can put 10 toms on here. And I already tried it in another video where I split the bass and added a second bass drum. I added the Titan 50 bass drum to this by splitting the kick um, 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 chord and split that off and had two bass drums on here. So you can split this. Now you got two bass drums, 10 times, and I don't, I don't think you can do the symbols. <laughs> but you can split everything. So now this drum set is massive. You can really, really expand it, and you can assign, the nice thing is you can assign each one of those pads a different sound. So when it comes to expandability, I have to give the a point. I almost want to give two points, but I'm not. I have to give Simmons the point. Why? Because Simmons lets you expand this to your heart's content. Now, if you try to split over here on the Fezzley, you can, but remember, 
the side of the drum only is going to sound like you hit the side of acoustic drum. It won't sound like a pad and you can't change it to something else. Ta-da! So, I have to give the point to the Simmons Titan 70. Now, I'm going to award another point. And some people may find this controversial, but I have to talk about this. Earlier, I talked about how the drums play and things being real, and I talked about the machine gun effect that you really see on the snare of the uh, Fezzley. Well, the, the, the thing about that is, when it comes to accuracy in your playing, I tried to do uh, buzz rolls, double stroke rolls, and things like that on the Fezzley, and it played the exact same note every single time. It didn't give you any difference. I even tried to do snare drag type of stuff, and it still gave me that same note at a different volume sometimes. Sometimes it's just completely missed. The hi-hat plays when I'm not playing. In other words, I hit it, it'll play twice, I only hit it once. Those types of things are, are inaccurate. And when you buy this drum set, you're gonna hear that. And you, you know, you're gonna start to wonder, what's wrong, am I playing something wrong? The Simmons does a very, very good job. It's not perfect, but it does a much better job of playing exactly what I'm trying to play. When I play a buzz roll, it plays that buzz roll. When I play soft, it sounds soft. It, it gives me what I'm looking for. Yes, I tightened up the heads. Yes, I played with all, I, I did all of that. And that's why I gotta give the point to the Simmons because it's a much, it is a much, much more accurate uh, drum set. It is very much, it's, it's, it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. But it is way better, way more accurate than the Fezley. As a matter of fact, you probably noticed in the video I kept trying to play a flam. on the snare for the Fezley, and it would not play that flam. It was hit or miss, mostly miss. If I played 10, it only played actually two, maybe three. So you're talking eight, 70 to 80% of the time, it was missing, okay? I do not have that issue over here. If I play a flam, it's a flam on the Simmons. So the accuracy, uh, if you're looking for a drum that's more really accurate, this drum set is gonna be very, very accurate, all right? So I have to give the point to the Simmons. Now, this is the one that I know is going to be iffy. I might leave this as a bonus point, and I'm going to let you decide if it's important. And that is this. You may have noticed, and if you haven't, go back, play the, play the, play the um, parts where I'm playing again, and take a listen. And you're going to notice that the Fezley is not true stereo. It is putting out a sound on left and right, true. But when I play across the drum on the Simmons, if I play the hi-hat, the hi-hat is mainly playing on my left ear. When I play the floor time, it's playing over here on my right ear. You follow me? It's not just playing completely across all of the, 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 the spectrum, the sound spectrum. When I play the ride cymbal, it's on my right. When I hit that splash crash, it's on my right. When I hit the main crash, it's on my left. Everything's where it's supposed to be. You do not get that in the Fesley. Now, for most people, it may not matter, but it is very noticeable when you play them back to back. When you, when you turn around and play the other one, you start to go, wait, why does this one sound so much different? Yeah, this has that ambiance thing and you can turn it up and give it the, the reverb and fill up the hall and all that stuff. That's great. You can do that over here on the, on, on the Simmons too. I can do that in my DAW if I wanted to. But when it comes to just playing and pulling it out of the box and playing, which one sounds better? Which one sounds more like what you would hear when you listen to the radio or your favorite songs in your, on your iPod? It's going to be, did I say iPod? When the last time we used an iPod? On your phone. Jeez, OP. How old am I? Good God. I, Lord, I think Jesus had an iPod. That's way back. <sighs> anyway, when you're playing your music, uh, 
it sounds better when it when it goes sound surround sound feeling and not just filling up the room. So for that reason alone, I have to give the point over to Simmons for I call it a bonus point, but I have to give them that point for that stereo sound, that true stereo sound. All right. So I think without going through whether or not you can build songs and all of that stuff build drum sets and all of that kind of stuff in there, user kits and things like that. They both have them, they do some things differently. Um, one has, the Simmons I believe has more memory, can do more. I don't want to get into that. I just want to get into some of the basic things when somebody buys a drum and I, and try to answer the question, which is the better drum? You, you see the points? I'm gonna let the, I don't even know what the points are right now. So you see what the points are. Which is the better drum I really wish I could mesh these two together and create one drum. Give me everything that's on the Fesley minus the module, okay? Give me the sounds and everything, decay, everything about the module over here and stick it over there and you got a beast of a set, all right? Especially at the price range of 800 bucks. You got a monster set. Give me the accuracy and pick up of this and stick it over here. But I can't do that, because you can't swap modules. So, I'm gonna give you a, a, a jacked up answer <laughs> as to which one I think is best. I think it depends on who the person is and who they're buying for. To me, an $800 drum set is really not an entry level drum set, it's more of an intermediate drum set. If I'm buying something to play in my house, my apartment, and I just wanna have fun, it's a toss up, either one. If I was gonna go and play in my studio and use one as a trigger for like, easy drummer and all of that kind of stuff, I'm scared of the Fesley, what the module will do when I MIDI it into my computer. I'm scared whether or not it would, and I'm gonna do another video where I do a check, but I'm scared whether or not it'll function properly. If I have to go with sound quality and all of that, I gotta choose Simmons. If I have to go with feel, I gotta choose Fesley. This is the last drum set that Simmons made for last year. This was their last release, and Fesley brought this out as their flagship, big boy, newest drum set. And Fesley did an excellent job in a lot of ways. They let me down in a lot of ways, but the same is true over here, especially in comparison. So which is better? I think if I just had to just say it, if I had to just go with one, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the